is to have the Embraer name together with us. So EVE is a project that started inside Embraer uh, back in 2017, uh, together with the Embraer X team, that's the innovation arm from Embraer. So having the Embraer brand together with us, this brings a lot of credibility. We are working together with Embraer engineering, certification programs. Embraer has a huge knowledge in certifying, producing, delivering, and supporting your crafts. And support is very important. Okay, thanks for asking that. So there's a lot of things that needs to happen before having the aircraft that would be used for the, the certification, right? So we have modules in the wind test tunnels, we have a lot of tests going on in our facilities in uh, Brazil. Uh, we are flying proof of concepts where we can understand more about the behavior of the aircraft during uh, different phase of flights and uh, interaction of different types of components. We have just like rigs with a lot of systems where we can uh, understand better about the behavior of each one of these systems. So we have just announced a few days ago uh, three suppliers. These are the three main suppliers for our vehicle. Uh, batteries, propellers, and the rotors. With that, we have a more complete understanding about the vehicle. Uh, we will start building the first prototypes by the second half of this year and expect to fly on next year. So in our case, the choice for electric and batteries is firm, so we are not going to change that because changing that would affect the whole configuration of the vehicle. So where are we going to um, have the tanks if we're gonna have hydrogen? So we would need to look for space for other equipments, for other systems. This would affect performance, weight, passenger comfort. So changing this would affect changing the whole design of the vehicle. So this is this was one of the first things that were defined since the beginning. So together with the vehicle configuration, I think that it is also one of the main things that we have just, uh, that we have defined. I'm not saying that we are not going never to develop something that's going to be hybrid, hydrogen, and so on. Embraer is developing the Energia family. Let's look into this type of, uh, let's say, alternatives. But if at this moment for this vehicle, for this vehicle that we're seeing here, it's fully electric. In the future, in 10, 15 years, we might be developing something different. But now for this vehicle, it's fully electric batteries. Okay, so answering first about your question on the vehicle, where the vehicle is going to be produced. The vehicle is going to be produced in Brazil, the first vehicles. Uh, we are also working together with Porsche on the whole strategy for the industrialization of our vehicle. Uh, we are thinking about uh, starting in Brazil, but then we, are, we need to think about the strategy and how we are going to deliver this vehicle to all of our customers all over the world. So we have 28 customers, customers in Australia, India, here in Europe, in the United States, customers in Brazil. That's a little bit easier to deliver, right? As we are going to start there. But uh, we need to figure out how we are going to, um, to deliver these vehicles to all of these uh, customers. So we are thinking, for example, in competition centers, as soon as we have uh, more volume, right? So if we're delivering hundreds of vehicles in some region, we could maybe have a competition center there. But this vehicles are going to be uh, assembled uh, in Brazil. And also about the supply chain issues that you asked. So supply chain issues, of course, this is something that's happening. We are aware of that. I cannot tell you that it's not an issue. Uh, but we are working closely with our partners, with our suppliers, in order to mitigate that.